Today on Most Toy Room, we're going to unbox from NECA and their Universal Monsters line. Here comes Dracula Accessory Set. Hey everyone, welcome to another edition of Most Toy Room. Come from My Room Tours. And today we're going to take a look at this accessory set, Dracula Accessory Set from NECA and the Universal Monsters line. Found this beauty today at Target. Absolutely love it. I've been looking for it. Uh, I know that a lot of people complain that it doesn't bring enough but for the price, but the bang for the buck today that I spent on this was 34, I believe, 34.99 or 34.96 or something. Yeah, it was around that range. Uh, I felt like I got lucky when I found it. It was only one there, so I found it. But I know a lot of people are finding these by the dozens. But here we go, Dracula accessory set available now. Hit up your local Target, you should be able to pick these up. I have not yet seen one at a Walmart. So Target is probably going to be your best bet for that. Or you got other online retailers that carry it and have it in stock right now, such as Big Bad Toy Store, I believe Nightmare Toys might even have it, um, and a few others. So you can check that out. Those online dealers and possibly even in Amazon. So check, give them a look. All right, folks. So this is for ages 17 and up, choking hazards. Uh, not intended for children under three years old. Um, you can see the side there. Beautiful side packaging on this. Okay. And then you see right here, Dracula on the back. This beauty includes a coffin, um, armadillo, a possum, spider, Jerusalem cricket, and backdrop. Dracula figure sold separately. Look at the beautiful artwork on that. Yeah, I'm basically paying for the box because after this is done and over with, uh, that's probably where it's going to go back into. There is the other side right there of the box um, to make sure that it stays clean because we are in the process of moving soon. So hopefully I'll have a lot more space and could expand my YouTube channel like I've been wanting to. Because, you know, I'm going to start going on Twitch too and doing some gaming on there as well. So, yeah, I need some space. But anyway, folks, let's crack this baby open and see how it looks. All right, folks, so I want to show you this. This is how it comes. Um, yeah, you can see right there, um, you got your coffin. Um, really nice material. Feel, almost feels wood, but I'm sure it's probably a plastic. You got your spider. You got your little, um, I guess that's a Jerusalem cricket. Yeah, right there. You got an armadillo and your possum. Yeah, the possum looks like he looks real good. So we'll take a look at that. And then also here is that backdrop that it includes. Very thick um material on this so let's check it out all right folks first off tail of the tape this coffin is measuring probably about eight and three quarter inches from this tip here to this tip if you wrap it around that's what it's going to be and then when you turn it over to the back we're looking at slightly over 22 centimeters that's give or take because you know this thing is really off center so all right so here is the coffin looks real cool i like the way that this looks you know you have your dracula that would be coming out of here very nice um i like the way it feels it almost feels like kind of like a like that real thin wood like that panel wood but it's not i think this could be plastic yeah i think it's plastic so they did a great job it has that grain on there I don't know if you could really see all that, like that wood feel grain. That's just how they did it. Look at the handles. The handles are really cool. You know, they move around like as if you're going to carry a casket. There you go. It's just in my fingers or yeah. So there you have it there. Looks real good. So if you're wanting to stand it up and then maybe put your Dracula right next to it. That's how it looks there. It looks really, really good. Very impressed with this. Um, yeah, I will leave them there right there for that way you can see that. All right, but here is what it brung. It brung this real cool looking armadillo. Look at how that looks. The detail on this is fantastic. It's, it's cool. Got a really cool tail. The rest of it's like a hard plastic. Very hard plastic. 
But look at the detail on that. So you have an armadillo. And then here's my favorite one out of it. This possum just looks just kick butt, right? Look how good this thing looks. You know? So you have that, even the detail in the eyes. And then it has this really creepy looking spider. I am not one for spiders. I'll tell you that. I might, this thing is so creepy looking. Uh, when I go, when I go downstairs, I'm going to go down and act like there's a spider on my wife or something. <laughs> Watch your screen. <laughs> yeah. And this is like a creepy one too. I know some of you guys have seen some bigger ones in your houses, but uh, depending on where you live, but yeah, over here, this would be, this, this would be really creepy. And then here is that Jerusalem cricket. You can see there, he's kind of like on his own little coffin. So yeah, we'll turn him around to the other side. So you could see that. Looks real good. So, all right, and then here is the backdrop to our Dracula. Let me turn this thing around. I believe it goes this way. Yeah, so it goes that way. So it's very large. You can see. Looks real good. And if you stick it behind your Dracula, that's the presentation that it would look. Looks very good. Um, but it also will look good with the black and white version. So this, it would probably even look even better with the black and white. Because this just fits way more. Okay, let me get my Dracula to stand. Look at how good that looks. Oh man, that is just nice. Looks breathtaking. I, I just absolutely love this. I love the way that it looks. It looks real good. Okay, so let's crack this thing open. Maybe stick our Dracula up in there. Okay. So you can see how that would look. Around like that, maybe. Because he has his hat and everything on. Let me back it up. Okay. All right. So I'm holding the coffin up a little bit to put uh, Bela Lugosi up in there for that way you can see. He does fit perfectly. Um, so if I put his arms down, right? If I put his arms down and then put him inside the coffin, as you could tell, it's a perfect fit. That would be how he would be. Lines up real good. And then even his hand twists a little bit right there. So let's say that like, for instance, he's like trying to come out. So that's what you would see when he's getting ready to raise come out of his coffin yeah this works this is really cool and then they have it to where if you put him down in the photo i guess the jerusalem cricket will be on top there um, just like that so let's bring him a little bit more forward so you can see that looks really good and then if you stick your possum up in the front maybe a spider up over here and let's say these two are going to go toe to toe that's good that looks real good um right there so or you could even stick your possum up on top like as if he's ready to prey on that spider but all in all this is Really cool. I love the way that it looks. Came out really good. Very good fit. But to be honest, I think with the backdrop and everything, this is the color variant, Dracula. So I'm thinking that the 
black and white version would probably look even better. All right, folks, now look at how good that looks. That just does it. Looks really nice. With the black and white version, you can see from the side. Yeah, it, even his cape draping out just works. And then even if you put his hand like coming out with the ring, right? And then you kind of closed it or even held his other one like as if he's opening it, getting ready to come out of there. Let's see here. Okay, look how good that looks. Yeah, I would say that the black and white version looks way better with this set than the uh, all, um, than the color one does. Even the, the little creatures tend to fit this one that much more. So you could see that. You could have your little cricket off to, in there if you wanted to. Yeah, that, these, the black and white seems to fit better. All right, folks, so that's it for my review. All in all, uh, here's how the black and white version looks with the set. The colored version, that's how it looks with the set. You be the judge, uh, or you can go and look for the black and white if you have the colored, or if you have the black and white and you feel it looks better with the color uh, version. There are your choices for this brand new Dracula playset um, accessory set from NECA. So remember, the figures are sold separately. Uh, I will say that. So they are av also available. So I think I saw this one. I think the colored one was still out there uh, when I purchased this um, playset today. Um, the black and white might be a little bit more difficult to find, but they are out there, folks. Um, hit up your local targets. And the figures by themselves will go for about $36.99. Uh, that's the bottom price. Uh, and the accessory set, um, I believe, is $34.99 or $34.96, somewhere around there. The figures might even be $34.99. Um, I don't really remember, but I know that they've moved up in price, so be on the lookout for that. But they're around that price, around $34.99, $36.99. So, but I know that the play set is $34.99, I believe, uh, around there. All right, folks. So like, comment, share, subscribe, hit that bell for notifications. If you are not yet a subscriber to this channel, please do so. It helps our channel grow. Like this video helps our channel grow. Um, subscribe helps our channel grow. Also comment, please comment. Everyone who's commented on my videos know that I do try and comment back to each and every comment. It, sometimes they get lost in, in the mix, you know, and I just don't get the notification that there are comments. But folks, you can look in the comments. I comment mostly on for everybody back and I will do my best to answer your questions. All right, folks. So from Mo's Torum to yours, everyone. Good night.